Hi, this is Danger Keller with the Lose and Strike King Pro Staff. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the fact that we're moving into the summer pattern where fish are gonna strike less actively and do a little bit more investigation on your lure before they decide to take it. And that really brings into play scent, all right? Uh, I don't really think scent is a big deal in the springtime. Uh, you know, we got fast moving lures, pre-spawn, uh, a lot of reaction baits, a lot of strikes that are coming from murky water, etc. But during the summertime, I think scent really plays a huge factor. And something that I've come to the conclusion of, especially the fact that I tend to drag a Tokyo rig around a lot, and Tokyo rigs already have a lot of hardware, so that's a kind of a suspect rig to a fish. Um, so I make sure that I don't double down on uh, negative aspects by having an, a, a bad scent on top of the Tokyo rig, which is, which is something that, that looks obscure to a fish. However, you know, I'm trying to stay safe from COVID and that means that I'm using a lot of hand sanitizer. Uh, you know, everywhere I go, if I go to the gas station, I get some, maybe a snack, I buy ice, I uh, fill up the boat, I get a coffee, etc. I'm gonna use hand sanitizer when I get back out to the truck and hand sanitizer either smells like alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, and if it doesn't smell like rubbing alcohol, it actually has some sort of a perfume or oil that is put over the rubbing alcohol in order to mask the scent, right? That is an incredibly strong scent that a fish is gonna pick up, especially during that investigation portion, whether you're throwing a drop shot, the Tokyo rig like I do, maybe you're crawling a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. You don't want the smell of alcohol or some essential oil on your lure. Um, so what I do, what has worked out really well for me is when I get to the boat in the morning, I'll actually save a little bit of my coffee and I'll go through the process of pouring coffee on my hands, rubbing it in, pouring some more coffee on my hands, rubbing it in, all the way to the point where I actually get to the grounds at the bottom of the cup. And what that has done for me is that'll actually take the smell of rubbing alcohol or whatever perfume is on top of the of the hand sanitizer off of my hands and give me the confidence to handle lures uh, without thinking that I'm going to impart a, a negative scent to that lure. So uh, just a tip, go ahead and give it a try. I hope it works out for you. This is Danger Kelly. I'm with the Lose and Strike King Pro staff and I hope you have a great day and stay safe out there.